So, hello, welcome back to another episode of Ghost House 4. We're, of course, playing with the Amina Fantasy Note as Mulin. As we are still recovering from the war with the Lake Federation, but we do own the territory that we want to own from them now, which is quite nice. We do have a plenty of things to build up around here. As the missions command us. <laughs> that, is, that is always how things work. Also, everything is caught now. Lovely. I've also gotten around to uh, turn this one on everywhere. There we go. Just to let you guys see. This is, of course, going to reduce my income a little bit. But at the moment, we have more than enough income. We only have 34k in the gutter at the moment as well. And yeah, we are not causing much trouble. Either way. 5.1% just from the... That is actually quite impressive that just 5.1% from the capital alone. We could also have another army. Income from vessels. Hmm. You guys are all fairly well down. But no worries, we will soon enough get more stuff to get this done. Uh, we're gonna take the missionary strength, why not? We're still converting stuff, it's not like that. Just takes forever. We also see about all of these conflicts here. I still assume that we just have to attack you. Uh, what was it? It was uh, Aquataba, Den Shazar, and Gundagar. So we have to attack. Oh, wait, I, I think you guys have that. Put your ally together. Oh, this is not Den Shazar? Wait. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Seems like we have a bit more conflict in our future. <laughs> Should I actually attack Scott Drake at this point? I think I want to... Wait, how much development does Sekti have? Sekti has 380. Rekulan has 340. You have guys have 500. I mean, I guess it would be... Alright. Uh, these guys don't even come around. I don't have a diplomat to send. Oh, because I'm improving. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I I remember that I have the what I have to do there. Just let these guys do all of this work. We don't want everything anyway. We don't do want a decent chunk though. I assume that I cannot make use of this because I do, I'm not a noble. No. Well, it wouldn't do anything for me anyway. So, oh, we are not accepting this field stalker nose. Oopsie. Oh, right, we're not gonna accept the centaurs because we're gonna have the event where the centaurs get thrown out. There we go. Uh, I kind of want to wait for this stuff to be. Oh, wait, we are doing this here. Uh, this feels bad to click away, so I'm. But this also feels bad to develop. Ah, oh, fuck it. Get you to 10, so I can build a rampart here. Oh wait, we need to... Ah! I know it hurts. It hurts me just as much as does it hurts you. Build our roost. Forbidden planes. Shork. Oh, this is also highlands. I want... Uh... Oh, it is not allowed to build something at the moment. Ah. Wait, let me just quickly go get rid of it then. Build our roosts. Build planes. Just needs a fortress, right? Expansion the highlands, center majority. Do we need a way to here? I mean, we're gonna build a foundation anyway, wherever. Let's wait another monthly tick and then we'll see. Or is this just another region? That could also be it. Wait. No, it just doesn't want me to build that stupid. This is, uh, yeah, I'll somewhere, somewhere else. This is all around here. Oh, there we go. Okay, confusing. 
so this gets like a development cost, so we can actually do this in the meantime. Lovely. Let's actually check something else. Uh, where's Gundaga actually? Gundaga? Okay, so both of these would involve you. What if I improve relation with you? Let's just, just check that, if this works, maybe. I am curious. Okay, this one, we're gonna, you're gonna stick around there. This does do part of this, right? Yeah, we now just need to wait for this place to be a, become a hanging city and then we can go all the way here. Pico's powers, Russian powers at least minus. Okay, so we need to even these guys out and then we need to get legitimacy back. Good. Sure. Don't get much prestige. But hey. Uh, this is only in because we have this boost here. I mean, you have all that manpower back again. I don't. <laughs> I'm still digging. <laughs> I assume that we, uh, this is r rather easy to take in. Just needs to happen. Still need to get that base production on of you up. Alright, there we go. This seems fairly... I mean, we cannot take this, right? We would need to get... Uh, yeah, we need to hand it over to Sektir. This does seem fairly heavy. Oh well. Wait, I can't do this. Oh, too late. I, there is a way to do this all at once. If <laughs> there's 300k dudes running around here. Why did you not take this fucking province of piece of shit? Wait. This army didn't stand there all the time, did they? Did I, did I miss a full fucking army of mine standing around doing nothing? That's not... that did not happen. No, I don't believe that. No fucking way. I'm not that dumb, fam. <laughs> it could be. It very well could be, to be honest. Okay, this is actually done. Good, uh, you can go home for now. Oh! Okay, yeah, it's just opinion. Good. <coughs> just give them money. The Royal Library of Gundaga has many books and will be a great addition to our collection in Mamikan. We reached a deal with the owner of Gundaga to purchase a number of the prized collections of books and manuscripts. Many noteworthy works have been added to our libraries. Collected histories from Sinaba Lotus Society of Hadimars and Chahir's Conquest of Rahen and Alice. The poems of Pavit Pavatim and Golbala's Eight by the renowned Gundaga warrior turned Yodi Yari poet Akshal Birala. Transcribed discussions from the philosopher of the Hall of Endless Debate, a copy of the ancient Yana Gura, the first of the five great Yahini epics. And I assume the same thing happens here, yes. So we can immediately stop that. The Golden Palace libraries have many books and will be a great addition to our collection, Mamikan. Okay. Notes on bureaucratic organizations from the Rush Ministries, copies of the prized Varamyur's Codex, transcribed reflections on the local Ardic chant used by the people of Adisadatta, reminiscent of our own highest mountain songs. The 23 volumes Savabil Nama or Harmony of the Mind Encyclopedia of Rahem. Well, after a lot of them. That's the next thing now on the list. Uh, we can quickly end this war. We have what we want. My boys are in. So the question is now if we need to ha reach a high improved relation or if we just need to reach 100 overall. We'll see. Fantastic. So we're just waiting for the ramparts here, then we're waiting for the Hang City to be done, and then we need to wait for the peacock, for another peacock event. This is lovely. And, and I think like, yeah, it, it's supposed to be this way, to be honest. You have the Advanced Manufactory, it's, you still just need two clicks here, I feel like. This one would be done, yeah. Then we're actually really close to all of this. 
Uh, we're gonna put in that uh, revelation guy again. These guys just keep sharing with everybody except me. I don't like this. <laughs> Gimme. Uh, you're just gonna stick. There we go. Okay, 9,000. Let's go. Uh, we don't need to get that at the moment. We don't get that, but we can take this, obviously. Military points. Okay. We have plenty of stuff left. We'll see. I don't want to leave everybody behind. There we go. Hang City. Lovely. Hang City. Lovely. So. Now we have all of that money. Let me just quickly do another assortment of these things. Just to make sure. It, it once again is so apparent that if I would have just taken quantity ideas, I would have been a lot happier with my life, but... <laughs> I have... I, I have principles that I stick by. As far as Focus City, uh, the Queen has decided that... Oh wait, Blow your subject, let's quickly take these three Diplo points here. The Sparrow's Focus City, okay, no, this is just this. Uh, this gives the Sparrow's power, which would even this stuff out, right? Sparrows as this side. Yes, lovely. Yeah, now we just need legitimacy, which we can just do with a, with a point click. So we just need to wait for the ramparts and the hanging city at the moment. We need a thousand gold. And we need to wait until these guys are done with building stuff. So, which is gonna happen uh, soon enough. Uh, Yasha and Loro. Loro is completely beyond me. I know that. Thunderborn Separatists. Go away. We need harpies in these places. Get the fuck out of here. We just need one more hanging city and that is, uh, that is currently happening. I feel like we have a lot more to do here. So we can construct a lot more roosts. We can construct a lot more roosts than we have a uh, thingy. So there's that. Uh, but we can continue with the uh, migration, because Mamiga needs to reach 100. For example, like this. Can we build it? Like, we have not even upgraded... Oh, maybe we can go to counting houses. Well, that's gonna be spicy. Why are you guys fighting in my b territory? I don't know. Valamha is doing some work. Look at them go. Uh, well, Kavodia, no. Oh, Kavodia has been annihilated. Well, Kavodia has been fun. Oh, let's actually wait here. We don't need to rush this. We are just waiting for this to go back up to 250,000 or something like that. It is no rush at all. Are we actually done here? Or are we cl at least close to being done? Okay, we need two more. All right. We are actually doing something. We are. It actually feels like we are not completely useless. <laughs> mm. I mean, this just gives a tech cost reduction. That's about it. This gives some un un oh, this gives actually unrest and some local trade power. I like how this is all happening with us actually hating the Lake Federation. <laughs> That we're constant... Like, we've been rivals for a larger part of the game now. But the thing is like, yeah, that's that, that those are the good guys. They're friends of ours, actually. <laughs> we're best buds. There we go. Okay, we just need to reach a certain amount of uh, boost here. The six tomes of the art of bibliotheography by Paclot said the scholar, a copy of the Elisli... Eslim Situm, the expedition of 10,000 Akel Sesi into Ketarata. The genealogy of the kings of Kusara by Attilus, the genealogist. The complete works of Burak Kasas and the recent work Living Among the Harpies by the Mansi, Air by Sel Sedim. Now we just need a bit of money back. 
so we can actually do this uh, last mission or this next mission here. <laughs> I mean, we are now basically the center of Im uh, immigration, right? Everyone wants to come to us. There's no question about that. All uh, right, and we did want to cancel this alliance of Kavodia because Kavodia is shit. Talking about uh, alliances. Do we have anyone interesting? Adanen, Dejak, of the Tunga would be an ally. Bayon Xin and Ada Kellen. I think Bayon Xin is actually a fantastic ally. Oh, they're attacking Russian Adaga. Yes, you should. You are defending yourself. Ada Kellen is not that strong. What about Adanen and uh, Dejak? Oh, you're all not really that impressive. I mean, if you guys are not getting completely annihilated, I sh you sh it should be alright. You no longer want to be my ally. <coughs> I see. Good to know. <laughs> that was fast. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. It says right here. <laughs> the libraries of the Mamiga are extensive, but still don't. Okay. Compared to the Great Libraries of Aquarius, the Father, Golden Palace, or Gundagar. We should reach out of their owners to acquire more books to Mamiga. So this just uh, happens. Heating the baths while mining near Sia do Siadunayun, a small hot spring was discovered. With some careful excavation and channeling, the stunning waters can be made usable in the city's grand baths. Yoink. Alright. Now we're just stuck here. It actually says that. I mean, this is why. I, I mean, I, I rarely read this stuff before I actually uh, uh, finish them, so. It's my own fault, technically. I mean, most of these things are my fault. Don't don't worry, guys. I am aware of my own wrongdoings. Uh, I sure. I have not had a failure here yet, so we don't know what happens when that uh, when that happens. <laughs> yeah, but I think all of the other stuff is basically done. I mean, we'll see. I mean, it would technically be alright to get the rest of this conquest done, right? Okay, we don't take that. This is just gonna use, be used for deving. I also assume that we have some hanging cities that have not been uh, pushed up to 25. I mean, you're still only a foundation, right? And you're constructing the roost as well. Oh, you're not doing hanging city stuff. You're actually just doing the roost stuff first, right? Makes sense. <coughs> oh no, do we, not, do we not need to gamble? Oh no, we... Okay, th this one is the next one. Good. We have caught up with the foundation building. Rather easily. Uh, we are no... Not... We are close towards going for uh, economic hegemony. Which, of course, would push things down. Alright. Secure route. Will any martial traditions... Wove to fight against center raiders that came through the past and generations past, and they continue to prove their utility as we seize territory in the plains. The sparrows call specific attention to this traditional aspect of their conquest in order to reinforce the mandate. Their next goals are to issue a port as well. Okay. We get straight influx, straight influx, we change cultures, development cost reduces. Alright. And now we just need that hanging city. Which needs to roost the first, of course. No worries. Water supply, we are approaching the finishing touches. This is getting would be pickable ahead of time, lovely. Let's just pick it. And we're gonna go for the Royal Motor and Age of Artificery. Fantastic. Let's quickly make sure that we get the good stuff in here. Colonial range. That's not a good stuff. Trade efficiency. So. This is now pushing down quite well. And we do have some stuff here. I mean, with this one is the more important. Right? Yeah. Abol abolishism. Abol yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. I mean, there is no uh, timer for this... Uh, Oh, production efficiency and final world construction. How old are you? 21. Fantastic. Love it. 
We are now getting uh, masses of orcs into our territory. Uh, we can probably also take one more uh, army in. Actually, do we want to increase the size? No, not yet. Soon. So, very soon. Uh, that's admin. Admin we're not gonna take ahead of time. So. Look, look at this, <laughs> uh, this array of uh, <laughs> forts around here. I mean, I'm gonna continue with the... We have the money at the moment, so why not? Oh, you're currently getting something else done. Town hall, trade station, training fields, workshops. Okay, damn it. There, there's a fort. No fort here. This is also all hills. I mean, this would have been a, a nice little mission to get, like, outposts in here, I guess. There's just, like, this 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 vast uh, 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 variety of potential. All of you guys could be funny little happy places. I mean, we won't be able to get any more, so there's that, but it's nice thinking about it. I mean, the specialization we could have also gone for most of the time, but it does cost uh, quite a lot of development to go for it. So yeah, we can have one more dude around anyway, but we do have an extra army now. Uh, da -da -da -da. Generous donation. Uh, we... Don't want that this time. We want to keep you guys evened out. No matter what. Because this one wants to be done. Oh, the... You guys need to be high up there. Flux. I don't care. Uh, do I need to do something here to keep this active? I don't want to give them the uh, thingy. Guess free enterprise might make sense. I definitely don't want to give them the autonomy in uh, these places. How much is it? It's 60-50. It's okay, that should, should be done now. You guys just need to grow to that. Of course it takes away from here, but so be it. We actually do have a surprising amount of absolutism, not gonna lie. Yeah, now we're just getting all the development events. You guys having fun? You're having fun over there. <laughs> I just I just like the idea of the, like this being like... I mean, it's of course we focus on here, but this is kind of a, a funny place of having like a shit ton of roosts. Come on, give me the event. There we go. All right, so now you turn into a hang city right away. Can we don't have anything else active? Just build it then while we get more development. The foundations will take... Not long. Basically just a year. Wow. I didn't even realize that this was so fast. Mammigan. Have some development. Diplo. Diplo, Diplo, Diplo. Screwed. <laughs> well, this went down fast. Huh. This is, this also keeps going down. I would like more merchants. I do have this colonist currently not doing anything. Is this bad? I mean, I guess he could have given me a little bit of uh, something. Sure, you can sit here and build up this hanging city while you're at it. We have a bunch of money. Let's continue on with this stuff. Keeping you active there. I mean, we could, we could, we could go out and uh, do this stuff, I guess. Yeah, you guys, Nolagas as well. Okay, Nolagas is not important, but I feel like these guys are actually a decent vessel. So let's make friends, right? I have the space. I have the space. 
Claim guarantee, Incom incompatible biology, what are you even? Harimari. Oh, we don't have Harim. We don't have too many Harimari around, yeah, sure. Come on in. Uh, I should probably, uh, should I make use of you? Oh yeah, we're, we're using this to get the trade away, right. Oh, we do also have, I mean, technically we could g easily go for 12 hanging cities, but we'll reach it soon enough. I mean, we probably just could keep you as a vessel. <coughs> <laughs> Let's just get this up. Yeah. Obviously, there's no question about who, which men we are getting in. Humans, the horny bastards. <laughs> They're always for it. Like, <laughs> what am I gonna do? Uh, we're gonna continue with that. Well, this costs me extra military to get that legitimacy back up, but that's all right. Oh, we just need to turn you into Hang City. That's what we need to do. Uh, I'm gonna build this here, of course, to get that, make that easier. Uh, that's not worth it. Just for one extra development. Yeah, and the next thing we're gonna do is building up the uh, the armies in size. I mean, this still is this still is not good place to do anything. Oh, God damn it! Well, this one gives us twenty. The uh, 20 legitimacy, so just still right down there. Oh, radical reforms! Uh, I need to get rid of a bit of my admin. Well, I guess we could just. Oh no, we're gonna invest it like this. There we go. So that is a hanging city now. Yoink! Let's get the level 3 advisors in again. Range, level reputation, trade efficient. Oh fuck. Uh, the wrong guy. Yield inflation. There we go. This this lady. We need to kick you out again. Oh, uh, sure. I think we're tolerating else fully, but just to, just to be really sure. The blue reputation sounds reasonable enough. Let's get you to uh, level four, uh, level five. Boop. There we go. So uh, you're done. Nope, not quite. I don't think you're gonna gain prosperity in time. What do we do here? Governing capacity, cooperation, cost minimum autonomy, authorities. That would be funny with the. Yeah, you know what. With the trade companies, this is just a bit effective. It's not much, but it's something. So, now we can do this. <laughs> there we go. Facilitate trades. Having never seen harpies before, the world that humans are unblemished by prior histories with us. The sparrows have taken full advantage of this and established ties with the humans of the Three Lakes, promising net mutual defense against the centaurs as well as initial trade agreements. After explaining the unique aspects of harpy biology that inform the Mulini policy of human integration, among other races, our territory in the plains has been opened to Trojanic migrants. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, just improves center of trade, we get a center of trade, we get defensive roost. Uh, and... Yeah, we're gonna change Lake Federation. We got a bunch of trust and we become a, we're becoming historical friends. Does that remove the rivalry between us? I'm gladly removing the rivalry. I don't see any more reason to... Uh... I mean, they don't... L they, they look unlikely to uh, change that, so... Oh well. Uh, nothing here. So, we need a thousand and we need free stability. Creating constitution. The volatile relations between the sparrows and the peacocks have led many to fear that the fissures opening in Mulini society. To prevent abuses, excesses and conflicts of the past from occurring again, we must devise a constitution that will legitimatize and contain the powers of the two factions. Drafting constitution. Alright. After many years of ambiguously sharing power with the merchant matriarchs, it is time to finally formalize the roles of the merchant matriarchs and the queen in our government. The Mulan Constitution of 1713 will resolve much of the problems with our previous arrangement and give stability to our country. In it, representatives of the peacocks and the sparrows will endorse in the intents 
interests of their patrons and make proposals for governance. While drafting his constitution, the sparrows and the peacocks engaged in bitter negotiations, but slowly, points of contention were eventually resolved with compromise. Resentment and distrust still persists between the two factions, but with the establishment of the constitution, they may be channeled into authorized institutions. The internal conflict continues, but rules of war have now been adopted with by both sides. This creates a constitution. What does this mean? <laughs> Inside, there is goblin stuff, missionary, firm hand. Go to Golden Highway, Plains Unforbidden. Teachings of the Desert. There's a bunch of Thems, Thems, Doctrine. Vassal Payment. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, we're gonna end this episode here, so I go always like subscribe to the again, so I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!